Brad wants me to respond to Lori McBride's third video, though I do have to get ready for work. So I will do uh, the best I can to this. Let me read it. I was going to ignore this because I think Lori has hung herself on this, but let me read it anyway. Open letter number three to Gabriel Chana. All right, Gail, let's take this to court. Our Jesuit lawyers have talked to your lawyers, and it was decided that the courtroom battle will take place in a neutral location. The most neutral location we could think of was the Internet. How appropriate for you. You will present your charges, and I will present mine. Gabriel Chana, you charge me with extorting Brent into a relationship and raping him. I'm going to sue you, Gabriel, for alienation of affection. I'll explain what this means since we all know how terrible you are at understanding law. I'm just going to lay it straight. You are the other woman, not me. Brent is my legal husband and baby daddy. From day one, you have engaged in all kinds of nasty telepathic sex, trying to seduce him away from me, screaming at him on the phone. Lori, you're a big liar. I never scream at Brent. Brent and I have an awesome relationship, screaming at him on the phone, trying to scare him into leaving me and being with you. She is out and out lying, folks. I never scream at Brent. Get real. I, oh, my God. This woman is just so disgusting. I would like to know, how is your yeast infection? I bet you feel itchy all the time. I bet it burns you up. Ha ha, that I've had him in my tight little womanhood, and you haven't even touched him. Very happy with myself right now. Brent could never love a woman like this. She is so vulgar. Oh, God almighty, this woman is vulgar. Here, let me go back and read some of this here. First of all, she's a big liar. Um, the fact that she would lie about me, no, I know she's lying about Brent because she knows that I don't scream at Brent on the phone. She knows it. She's a big liar. Um, let me uh, go back and read the rest of this right here. You're a big liar, Lori McBride, and you know it, too. And the only reason that you're making these YouTube videos is, is because this website, you don't like it that I'm exposing orderofthejesuits.com. And the Je you're doing damage control for the Jesuits. Did you know there are inconsistencies between what you say on your YouTube videos and what you have in other places? You claim that you didn't rape uh, Brent and that you had sex with him by natural means in, on your YouTube videos, but then when you go into other parts of your site, let me read it. Let's go on over here. Uh, look at this. Uh, let me finish reading this. Screaming at him on the phone, trying to scare him into leaving me and being with you. I never did that. Now you send him love letters and skanky videos like he's your man. He's asking for them. Get real. Brett would never want you to stick it in that yeasty beaver. Have you noticed something? Yeah, I'm a smoking hot natural blonde, a successful publicist, and my son still lives with me because I'm not crazy like you. Who would you pick? I'd like to know how is your yeast infection? I, I bet you feel itchy all the time. I bet it burns you up. Ha ha that I've had him in my tight little womanhood, and you haven't even touched him. Very happy with myself right now. Lori McBride. Uh, she certainly isn't humble, is she? Uh, this woman is really stuck on herself. An arrogant Jesuit. Um, I gotta say something. I find our brain to brain loving very satisfying. I'm not frustrated at all. I'm very happy. The main reason I'm doing this is I'm sticking up for Brent because I love him and because you've made him suffer and you don't care about him at all. You're trying to destroy him. And I'm gonna say this much. Um, and Brent has told me that you injured him about a couple weeks ago. When he was dreaming about making love to him, you climbed through his window at his house and you knocked him out, and he had to go to the hospital. And then when he woke up, you were caressing his head, pretending like you didn't even injure him. Brent said he was, he was ready to freak out. You, what kind of a woman are you? You're a monster. You're a monster, Lori McBride. I am, you know, I love Brent, and I'm not going to let you destroy him. You are a monster. And so... Let's, let's go read the inconsistency. She claims that she didn't rape him, that she had natural sex. Now let's uh, read up another section of your website here. Look, notice the inconsistencies. Lori McBride. Look what it says on this here. It says um, she, she, was, she gave Gail the impression that Brent was cheating on her with, her with our agent driving her to the brink of insanity. 
By the time Brent had discovered the true nature of Project McBride, in other words, that Brent didn't cheat on me, the public at large had been fooled and Brent forced into submission by our most devious and deadly agent. Lori then drugged and raped Brent Spiner. You admit it. Look at this. This is a contradiction here. Stealing his semen and artificially impregnated herself with his biological child. So in one section of the website, you claim that you got pregnant natural means. Then in another section, you claim that you artificially impregnated yourself. You big liar. You change your story all the time. You're a big liar, Lori McBride. And we're going to be able to easily prove that in court. You're a big, fat liar. If anybody trusts any, you're so inconsistent in your statements, we're going to be able to, we're going to have a slam dunk in court on you. You're a big liar, Lori McBride. And that yeast infection I got was because you Jesuits gave it to me. And you dare to bring that up in court and hold that against me when you gave me the infection? Boy, do you got nerve, man. I wouldn't have the yeast infection if you didn't give it to me. And I might have more to say, but um, we're going to beat you up in court because you're a big, fat liar. Okay? You lie, and you've tried to kill Brent Spiner, and you tried to burn my mobile home down in 1998. You've tried to kill me. And we're going to sue you for defamation because you are saying all sorts of lies about me and Brent, and you're defaming us. We're going to also sue you for attempted murder because you tried to kill Brent and you've tried to kill me and you may get the death penalty. And we're going to sue you for interfering with our relationship. Brent was interested in me and you came next. He fell in love with me in 1990, 1991. And you interfered with the relationship as a Jesuit agent because it was your job to break us up because the Jesuits found me a threat because of my Catherine the Great and King David genetic profile and Howard Hughes is my great uncle. And Brent thinks I'm brilliant and he doesn't like you at all. He, you give him the creeps. And I, I've got to go right now because I don't have time. But Brent wanted me to respond. He, um... He said, please respond, because I, he said that what this woman's doing is bringing back a lot of painful memories, and he wanted me to respond, and I'll say more later. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it's still going. Huh. 